So let's start. I use the All Our Foundation from Yves Saint Laurent because I love it um, really much for the moment. <laughs> it's a light makeup which has, uh, it's light matte and but it still has a little bit of um, shine which it's quite natural and it has a good coverage but it's not too heavy. Um, it feels really comfortable on the skin because it's not too heavy, like I said before. You see that it looks amazing. So I am sorry for some interruption <laughs> because uh, it's the first time that I talk and make a tutorial for you but yeah it's every time the first time so I try it <laughs> I try my best that's the foundation it has a light matte finish but it's not too matte it's like has a light coverage and because you can see still my my skin underneath now I will use the um, beautiful skin Rodion concealer from Charlotte Tilbury and I go under the eyes and I go slightly here to make a beautiful shape to lift the eyes a little bit up. You will see it later. Oh, okay, okay. So, and then I will put some on my nose, on the forehead, a little bit here and around the nose to have some highlighting and some coverage. Um, for for a little bit of redness and um, I use my sponge which is wet and I tap it in into the skin I, um, I have to use a smaller one but um, I use now this one and I don't want to to leave the set now the set now <laughs> So, and now I go with the rest of it onto the eyelid to um, cover some redness. Okay. Um, then I use, um, no, 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 no. Um, I, will, I will use uh, contour one from uh, Charlotte Tilbury which um, I use a little bit on the forehead and on the, uh, on the nose to make a little bit of contour. And then I go here, I go here to my eyes and you see the light before I did with a, with a concealer and with a, a contour now, contour now it's like lifting, lifting the eyes up. And you have already like a dimension of eyeshadow. Then I go directly onto my cheekbones to lift also the cheekbones up. And I go here on the jawline to shape a little bit my face. So, and um, I use now the uh, makeup brush, which I used before and I blend it in. It's not to, to contour really my face. It's like a little bit of giving my face like a sun kissed and to make some dimension, but it's not to really have a hard contour. You will see it, it will be super soft when you use your, your uh, makeup brush. It's blended um, completely in. You see, um, I blend it in with the, with the foundation brush, but you can see slightly underneath that it happens something of, of a shape. 
So now I use um, for the airbrush um, powder from Charlie Tilbury. It's a brightening uh, powder, so I use it slightly onto my brush and I tap it in onto uh, into my skin and under the eyes, but only a little bit. And I go also here around the nose. You can see it makes a little bit of, um, yeah, how can I say? It shapes my nose a little bit smaller. And um, I use it also for my forehead because, yeah, of um, to reduce my the shine. And I fix the concealer under the eyes like that. So I I will continue with my with my bronzer. Uh, it's from Dior, the color um, 410 Bronx. And so I use my contour brush. I go into the product, which is really soft. It's not a high pigmented bronzer, but you can see that something happened on the skin. It's really soft, I love it. I like also the color. It's um, not too warm. But it's not too. What's the name? I said I have to train a little bit more with English words, but yeah, I hope you understand. I put some bronzer onto the skin, um, on the forehead, to have a little bit sun kissed, uh, a sun kissed skin. Then I will go into uh, the eyeshadow. So I use from Dior um, the color. It's a 779 Riviera, so it's like that. It has like a little bit of orange, orange and uh, burgundy, burgundy, and some brown. So I will start with this color, and I will do it um, completely on my eyelid. I will do some powder before to fix it a little bit, and then. It's already looking like like spring. What do you say? So I do it also on my other eye completely on the eyelid until to the crease here. Like that. And I will blend it out to soft. Unfortunately, I had technical problems, so I do it now on uh, like a voiceover. So I took um, the darker color and I went to the edges of my eyes and also under the eyes and I blended out to have um, yeah some dimension. And uh, if you have some dropping eyelids, so you can hide them a little bit with a darker color. You see with a fluffy pencil brush, I blend it out and now I go with the lighter color into my inner corner of the eyes to make them a little bit more brighten. So I can recommend this to brighten up your eyes if you want to. Afterwards, I use some a little bit more sparkle color from Charlotte Tilbury. I will write it down below into the info box. I tap the eyeshadow with my finger onto my eyelid. Afterwards, I use a black pencil, uh, which is waterproof, for closing my waterline. Because um, if I wouldn't do that, um, you will see like uh, like my waterline in uh, between my eyes and uh, my lashes and I don't like it so I close it every time with a black pencil or with a brown pencil. Of course um, it's necessary to put some mascara on. I mean you can use also um, brown mascara. It's also nice. Now I will highlight my face a little bit and for this I use Spotlight from Charlotte Tilbury. You see, I have directly glow on my skin and I love it so much. 
So I brush up my eyebrows and afterwards I use from Gosh the uh, brow lamination which is really strong and uh, they exist also in different uh, colors but I use the net, um, natural one and um, yeah I will dry it a little bit now and first I do some lip liner from Kaya Cosmetics and afterwards I use the Petal uh, Lipstick Alma from Laura Messier, which is a really nice spring color. What do you think? Also, I use it for my cheeks as a blush and I, I think it will complete my makeup. So I will blend it in with, uh, with my sponge. You can use your finger if you want to or you use your brush to blend it into your skin. So I add a little bit more um, blush and I put also on some on my nose to have more like a youthful look and I tap it in with my finger. So yeah, like I said, you can choose what you like to use. If you put it with your finger on or with a sponge or with a pencil brush, it's up to you. So if it's a little bit too heavy, I use my foundation brush and I tap it in to blend it in. It makes it a little bit softer. So now the eyebrows are dry and I use my pencil brush from NYX, which is a really fine liner and makes small strokes. So I make my eyebrows a little bit more uh, fuller. So what's your opinion? Do you like also fine lines for your eyebrows? Um, if you have some recommendations for eyebrows, let me know. I will be really interested. Yeah, so that's it. I mean, I'm coming now to the end and I hope you enjoyed my, my tutorial this time and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.